I want you to know that you are loved. You are not alone. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a little bit different in content. As you guys might have noticed, as of recent, our content has been a little bit lacking in well, terms of DIY stuff. And I wanted to just take some time out to, to come on and to just kind of talk about how the last few months, um, weeks have been going. I mean, I haven't been around too much, it feels. Yeah, I, I just want to be, want to be honest and, you know, because I, I really appreciate um, all the support that so many of you are giving us. And I get a lot of really sweet and caring comments from people who um, resonate with, well, the things that I'm particularly going through. At the moment, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's hitting a bit of a crescendo for me. Um, so that's why I, I really just wanted to come on and talk about it a little bit. So to start off with the, the video, I'm, I was just searching for our little tripod bit for uh, about a, an hour. It somehow got lost and it triggered my, <laughs> my emotional state. Beyond the point, that's unreasonable to be honest. Um, I wanted to do this video outside in the shade with a nice background. I had it all set up in my head, and when I did, when that fell through, I got very upset. Anyway, that's not what I'm here for. Um, I actually wrote down what I wanted to say because otherwise, it'll just turn into a ramble. So, we've been here now. We've been in Bulgaria since early March, but we've been on this, in this property now since the end of May. When we first got here, it was my full intent to be going hard every single day to renovate, repair, fix as much as possible so that we could have a real decent place to call home for the first year. And as many of you know, we lost Marshall and things just kind of just became a lot harder. Um, I was actually the one that was creating most of our, our, our early content. And um, after Marshall died, I really kind of lost all interest. Um, I've had this emotional block now for months. I've been trying to get over it. But this is the reason why you've probably noticed a little bit of a change in, in style. And, and that's also normal because on YouTube we try to, you know, we want to uh, try different things and, and see what kind of works and what doesn't. I very much want to have this YouTube uh, channel as a journey. To show where I've come from and where I'm going and how I'm gonna get there. So over the last few months, I've not been at home very much. Actually, that's how it feels. Um, instead, I've been in in the the west, learning from a general contractor how to do certain things, um, such as taking apart a roof, and just general DIY stuff. I haven't been around much, and it it has helped my confidence. But I have very much, very much missed being at home. I have to be, be really honest. <laughs> Lately, I have not felt. I have felt zero motivation, zero drive to do what is required of me, what is necessary. And I've always had an issue with procrastination. I overthink things and I I really want to just stop doing that. I want to get back kind of like that childlike motivation, that, that, that just optimism to, and just jump into it feet first without even really thinking about it, just doing it. And um, those days are 
as we speak less and less that I have the desire to do things. Frenzy has been working kind of full time at the moment, and that's kind of left me um, with trying to figure out what to do around the house. And we have, we are in the house, and we've made it comfortable enough um, to not really progress. Uh, and we are extremely adaptable people. And uh, I always joke that when the, the crap forgive me, uh, hits the fan, uh, we, we won't have much adapting to do because we are already living on the basics, truly. And that, it does make me feel very alive. But the, the, the reason why I came here, one of the reasons was to improve my mental health. And while it has improved more than what it was, it's still not a cure and it's still not, it's still not where I would like it to be. There's still too many um, issues popping up. There's still too many days where I just don't want to even get out of bed or do anything. But I have responsibilities. I am str struggling to find uh, a good routine. I had quite a good routine back in Belgium, where I would wake up in the mornings, I would walk the dog, I would speak with God, I would read scripture, um, and just, I don't know, put God first. I don't speak a lot about my faith, but it has been my saving grace throughout all the years. And I've been kind of feeling a little bit lost since, since coming here because there's been so many things um, asking for my attention. Um, and being around so many different people who are lovely, but have different beliefs, they have different uh, faiths. And um, I, I, I sometimes struggle with that because I'm not the most outspoken person and I will get swayed or maybe not swayed, but I will get maybe swept away by how other people are speaking and shut down. And, and So what I would really like to do in the future, what I've set my, my mind to, is to step back, take some time for myself and God, and focus on my walk with Him so that I can be stronger in And just be stable. And then the rest will follow, I think. As we are speak as we speak, we are trying to source different incomes, we have income streams, which will allow us to be more daring and to be more self-sufficient um, in this life. And we really badly want to go off grid. And that's mostly because of what we are seeing take place in society. We've seen that happening a lot since a long time ago but it seems to be more pressing now than ever before so we would really like to make that happen as soon as possible but for that to happen we have to be a lot more independent and uh, independently wealthy while I, I we, we make a little bit of money it is nowhere near enough to be able to to live um, without working full-time all the time and also renovate the house so we have been kind of doing it very step by step because prices are going up everywhere and that includes here in Bulgaria. And that is another reason why I've been struggling because I have had this vision in my head about how I want the house to look and by no means it is the same as modern standards. But the things that I want to do are actually older techniques such as Tadalact. Um, or pla uh, lime plaster, Venetian plaster, all these kinds of things that I would like to, uh, to implement in our house. And these are funny enough, they're more expensive than regular stuff, regular building materials. So we have to just rethink some things. So I really want to take this time to figure out where my path is leading. Like I was kind of alluding to before, I, I'm kind of fed up tired of myself always catering to other people's needs and being swept away by that or swayed. Most importantly for me, 
is I want to create meaningful content that someone that is maybe across the globe can relate to who's going through the same struggles because I cannot be alone. I've, I've posed this question before and I received quite some comments that people are not alone. And our channel is not necessarily it's not necessarily a channel like any other channel um, when it comes to moving abroad and, and fixing up uh, well, a fixer-upper and, and doing all these things. We came into this channel to give a face to mental health, to trauma, and, and I feel like we we are trying to accomplish that, but sometimes we we get distracted. <laughs> the slogan of our channel is Dare to Grow. And every day, we are daring to grow. Um, and we are daring to be vulnerable, but also surrender. <sighs> Look, life is not easy, right? I am not naive enough to think that I am the only one that has had things happen to them in this life. We all do to a certain degree, some worse than others. But I want you to know that you are loved. You are not alone. You're truly not alone in your struggle. And I struggle with being kind to myself. And because of that, I struggle to also be kind to others from time to time. Life is tricky. Hello, just a few words for me as well. Alex asked me to also talk a little bit about how I feel and it's not really something that I do. I'm fine. Fancy fine. Um, but in fact I am I am quite stressed. I am um, starting to lose a lot of focus. I am all over the place. I feel sometimes like I'm a bit senile or something. I, I lose things apparently. I filmed the whole week this week in slow motion which means we have no sound so that upset me quite this morning especially them being pointed out like it's so easy to just check the settings I found it a bit unfair that I am the one who has to film anyway but I'm also being the one who has to work and everything so I, I got upset about that very upset I we had a fight over it and tried to recover throughout the day just turning into new fights because apparently I also lost the adapter for the tripod and yeah I'm I everything is, is cluttered I don't have a system I don't have anywhere to put anything so that is frustrating him it's frustrating me probably too and yeah I'm just I feel very stressed I feel very anxious I feel very heavy um, but not every day um, today is one of those days and we said like we wanted to be authentic and um, keep you up to date about our mental health <laughs> and is village life a solution? I don't know. It is, there are a lot less stressors here. Things are a bit easier. I had an amazing road trip with uh, my friend Winda yesterday and we went to see a lovely little permacultures project, well a, a garden, um, but everything the way I want my garden to be in four years. I've got two little cherry trees and <laughs> try and see whether they um, like it here. A couple of seeds that I still have to spread. And yeah, I was just completely recharged. At the same time, Alex was home trying to keep Tucker from licking his incision wound because he was just freshly castrated and he was obviously very upset about being abandoned by me. 
all day and yeah, it's it just, I mean, that is interpersonal. Every couple is supposed to have fights, I guess. We don't really normally do, um, but it, it can happen and we said there will be lows and there's a low and there will be better days again, as I said in the intro video. We are lucky that it's still really warm because we still haven't even replaced the window panel in here. Yeah, even all the little things, we're just kind of, yeah, if you're stuck, there's so many things that we could be doing and yet somehow we ended up doing pretty much nothing and everything that we do start kind of doesn't work out really well. We tried to drill the holes for the boiler. The first one, no problem. The second one totally got stuck. It just would not budge. Mike is helping us out with tips and tricks and um, he also organized for us to borrow someone else's drill. Because <laughs> we have do have the support if we do reach out, people do want to help us, it's amazing. There is still the idea that we just both work full time again and just have someone else renovate for us. But I feel that we will be kind of cheating ourselves out of the experience. We're trying to have the experience and Marco per Marco, little by little. And if we only do it next year, then so be it. Yeah, I feel very tired, I feel exhausted, I feel stressed. It kind of gives me a little bit of comfort that I do still have the job, I have enough clients to essentially keep a little bit of an income in. It is not much, but it is keep paying the bills, I guess. Yeah, but it's, it's hard. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm just tired. Just tired. Actually, you know what? I haven't had a second coffee yet. Oh. I don't know how I'm going to come out on the end of this. But I have faith that I will come out stronger. And that things will work out. They always do. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I love you guys. All of you who are watching. Thank you for watching our content. God loves you, even if you don't believe in him. And I'm sure I'm gonna lose some subscribers because of that. We are living in scary times, very uncertain times. Don't forget you are loved. And it's never too late. It's never too late to turn around. To choose a different path. Thank you for watching.